and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube as well for some Selesnia adventures in best of one. Continuing on our best of one day Monday that we have here today. That's a lot of days. <laughs> We're going to be playing some Selesnia. I know a lot of y'all have been wanting me to play this deck. I've played a whole lot of Selesnia in my day. Um, and it's my favorite guild. But I really haven't been playing it too much recently because white is just pretty underpowered uh, compared to the rest of standard. And so I've you know played a whole lot of uh, different green and black decks and so on and blue decks as well. But let's get back to our Selesnia roots here. Um, yeah, this is so this is uh, built for best of one. We got uh, twenty, yeah, just twenty lands, which is not very many. But best of one usually helps fix your fix your uh, your hand to give you like that extra land. Plus, we have the four once upon a time, three flowers, so we can hit some land drops there. And you can see here, I'm playing like. A, a lot of like different creatures. We got one Flaxen Intruder, a couple of, we have one of these, a couple of Maras, one Knight of Autumn, one Tristani. I like having like these different one ofs because of Once Upon a Time. You know, like maybe we have a situation where we want to find Knight of Autumn or we want to find Tristani or, or so on. And I, I just want like this 13th one drop uh, to be able to have over here because we want a lot of cheap creatures when we have Convoke spells like Conclave Tribunal and Venerated Luxodon. Also, um, so yeah, that's that's uh, <laughs> oh, thanks, Fallen Might. So that's like kind of like what we got going on. Of course, like I'm sure y'all have seen this Lesney Adventure deck. You know, like we're playing at the adventures where we have the Edge Wall Innkeeper. If we cast our adventures, we get to draw cards. We're trying to get a lot of bodies in play. Amara gets extra creatures, Love Struck Beast gets us extra creatures with and with the more creatures, then you know, we get to venerate Luxon on out early. Um, Unbreakable Formation is just a really powerful card that I think is kind of underrated. I like having it in here as a one of. Um, and yeah, that's that's kind of like what our, our deck's about. Like we're we're an aggressive deck. Fairy Godmother helps get some damage in. Uh, you know, giving this thing plus two plus one and flying, you can get a lot of damage in. And Giant Creature is just an under underrated card. It's our uh, Murderous Rider, kind of. <laughs> but yeah, so let's let's give this a try. Let's see how this does. All right, so best of one. We're going to play seven games. We're going to play it over in ranked, standard, ranked, best of one. Here we go. And Hawkeye's like, ooh, Selesnya, I'm going to come up here and get pet. He's getting the ear scratch that he really likes. Okay. Game number one. Good opener. We don't have a one drop, <clears throat> but we don't have to mulligan down to five like our opponent. Yeah, not getting destroyed by Chain Whirler anymore. That's true. Hey, Paul. Oh, wait. You're a one drop. Never mind, we have a one drop. My bad. I don't think yeah. I just had a one drop right there. Yeah. I don't I'm not in love with Gideon, especially in best of one. I, I think I'd rather have unbreakable formation. I think it can um be a, a higher impact card. Multitude's pretty slow. March of the Multitudes. It's pretty slow. It's you'll definitely lose games by just having March of the Multitude in hand. And, and like we're a really low land count deck. And it's a no, we're just not going with that. Don't really need to bounce any creatures. Let's just play this 3-1 out here.
I'm just gonna leave this 3-1 back. Yeah, I wish I had my Legion's End. So make Questing Beast a 5-5. Five five. Yeah, Mars Mars done really good for us. You know, gotten a couple of life linkers out there. I don't really know what this attack's about. Just Ember Cleave. I guess it's gotta be Ember Cleave. So this thing could do ten damage. GG. Basically made a block that meant that we did not die to Embercleave. No matter what they did with that. And we were just going to be able to kill them on the way back. Alright, 1-0. Good job, Harkai. That was all you, boy. He's purring pretty loudly. He's all happy with one. Yeah, Tristani real powerful. So we got turn one Godmother, turn two Shepherd of the Flock, turn three Luxodon. Turn four questing beast. Yeah. Yeah, black and red's good. Yeah, Stormfist Crusader is pretty sweet. If you're if you're a big fan of Stormfist Crusader. Um I played a I played a Grixis Knights deck yesterday that was pretty awesome. With four Stormfist Crusaders. If you check that one out over on the the YouTube channel from yesterday, I haven't seen any good Troll King lists. I tried playing Troll King one time and it just didn't go very well. Um, people playing Oko. Turn your Troll Kings into 3-3s. Three threes. Yeah, th this one wasn't like wasn't like my Esper Mill deck that I like I, the one that I built. This is a donation deck. Those it it's basically Esper Control with Ashiok for a win con. A good Hawkeye. He's like, ooh, pen, 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 pen. Sure, you got me. Pen. Attacking for light of the stage, I believe. But I don't want them just to have, yeah, skewer that kills my questing beast anyway.
Oh yeah, I guess it was. Yeah, the last one was a donation deck that started there too. Is by different different people though. Um, that's a good question, Kiesel. I guess. I think, yeah, that's a good question. They're they're very similar, the Arkbo deck and the Demir Artifact deck, very similar power level. Um, I guess I would recommend. Huh. My opponent gonna kill me this next turn. Probably say the Demir deck. It's a tough call though. Alright, so they have to chump with Steamkin, then they gotta chump with they only have to chump with one creature, but they have to chump I guess they could just chump with like a scorch bitter or something. Gonna go this route, save Fairy Godmother for next turn. If they take one of these. Yeah, I made an elemental Arcbow deck the other day that's five colors with Fires of Invention and, and Vivian's Arcbow and a whole bunch of like the, the Cavaliers. It was really cool. Um. Yeah, that's over on YouTube. I need to play that deck again. We'll probably play that again tomorrow during the 12 hour stream. They just can't play anything else in their hand. Oh. All right, I guess I need to play the Godmother out. I wasn't sure there. It was a tough call. Depend on you know, like how aggressive they'd be. All right, one and one. Yeah, Torbran is quite the card. Torbran, quite the card. Down, 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 down. <laughs> yeah, Hawkeye looks bigger on the camera than what he is. He looks big. I always say that with people, the camera adds 10 pounds. It's like that with cats, except for like two pounds. Temple of Epiphany. Temple Garden. It's Temple Tribal. I 
Eyes and F. Resub in there. Thank you so much there, Eyes and F. Many more to come. Aw, thank you so much. Oh no. That's not great. I am risking the innkeeper. I could have gone with another love struck beast. But I want to play the beast next turn. We don't get to draw. Um, you know, if I don't draw a land, I don't want to be able to have to like try to play innkeeper and beast kind of thing. Okay, we did draw the land though. So basically, if my opponent has another sweeper, I'm probably going to die. If they don't, maybe we can get there. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Everybody put in the hype bets. Well, Ninja Man, there's a metagame challenge every single set. That's they didn't make a metagame challenge for collect data for B and R announcements. They every single set has a metagame challenge. I mean, they're always collecting data for B and R announcements. Also, there's nothing special there. So I guess this thing's not a 1-1, one, one, is it? It's a 1-2. I guess this is kind of bad. I don't get to attack with these if I put counters on these. I was kind of realizing that whenever I was attacking there. Oh well, I'm playing my card. Yeah, there's there's always been like like that week after release, there's always been a metagame challenge. Well, like I said, if they had a sweeper, if they had another sweeper, they're probably winning. If they didn't, we had a chance. Don't really imagine us winning now. Because they get eight zombies here. Or six zombies. Like how how are we supposed to beat six more zombies? Yeah, if I would have just saved formation, so if I would have just played yeah, so I could have just you know not played the other love struck beast and just played the venerate Luxodon out. Yeah, so I mean that's so that's my mistake. I was too focused on. That's my mistake there. I was too focused on. Um, uh, using the. Uh, 
uh, unbreakable formation as a way to destroy a bunch of zombies instead of a, as a way to save from sweeper and holding it up. We need another forest for questing beast. I mean, honestly, I, I don't know if I'm, like, doing that wrong. Like, with that two mana there, am I supposed to, like, usher to safety this fairy godmother, then replay fairy godmother and draw a card with innkeeper there? Then I just have the three creatures in play. I mean, that's a, that's a way to get, like, an extra draw off of innkeeper. I've had more success with Gruul Henge compared to Gruul Aggro myself. I've struggled with Gruul Aggro finishing out games. And where the, the Henge deck can play a, a better long game. Okay, so you would have kept the Shepherd of the Flock. You would have kept the Usher to safety up to try to protect Innkeeper. I'm just being aggressive and just getting everything out there. Looks like my opponent's going for... Oh no, okay. Well, time to attack. They got four blockers, they can block my four. Oh right, Lovestruck Beast doesn't get to attack. <laughs> well, I was just like, all right, well they can't they can't block enough. 
to win. So attacking with that 2 2 is kind of unnecessary. But oh well. Still got their 2 2 flyers. Are nice. This hasn't been my, my best played video. Hopefully, y'all don't mind too much. Damn. Good aggro. That's what we got going on here. Just some good old aggro. Okay. All right. Thanks, Paul. <clears throat> so with hitting the sub goal earlier today, those of y'all just kind of joining in, we are going to be doing a 12 hour stream on Wednesday. Hey, Enraged Ham. Enraged Ham. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub there. So yeah, we're going to be doing a 12 hour stream on Wednesday. And then Thursday, I'm going to take the day off, as I have not, I'm not taking a day off in, um, in a little over two weeks. Well, We're gonna take the other innkeeper, a double innkeeper. I think we'll just take Jack. So yeah, that's that's kind of the plan for the for Wednesday, Thursday. Tomorrow I'm going to be doing Tuesday, Bruise Day, where I'm going to make some new decks built around some cards that don't see very much play. Yeah, just like my Throwback Thursdays from last from last set. I mean, am I am I supposed to save this giant killer for that beast? Yeah, those are like my favorite. So we'll be doing that tomorrow. I don't know exactly what cards I'm going to build around yet. I'm going to, you know, figure, you know, take some time to figure that all out tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, I, I was debating just holding up the giant killer, but yeah, we'll just get six power in here. Boo. No, I'm going to be taking Thursday off. Thursday will be an off day. I could play the Lovestruck Beast also, and then tap everything for Tribunal this, but I want to attack and get the 6 damage in. How do you think my Teamer Flash deck would hold up now with the new set? Um...
Probably... Probably okay. I don't think it... Necessarily got worse. What am I doing? Come on. Um, yeah, Simic Flash does does fall behind those decks for sure. Um, so yeah, maybe like my my rank up deck of choice right now is Teamer Walkers, very similar to like what my opponent's playing similar to that um and so yeah if you want to find my teamer walkers list it's from the youtube channel from a few days ago um besides that i don't know you can kind of just check they out like the, the normal like standard metagame list see if there's anything else that really speaks to you there So really hoping to draw a land here that once upon a time I mean I guess I guess I could have taken a land instead of the Sin Keeper. <sighs> Wanna tap their beast, play my beast, and attack. I don't know why I'm... What's going on? Why did I play this so bad? So many bad decisions this game. I don't have a way out of this right now. Like, I, I obviously should have just killed Sarkin last turn also. I don't know what I'm doing. Sorry, I'm frustrated with myself. Sorry about that. I'll do better this game. Frustrated by myself. But that game's over. And we're got, we got two more to play here with Selesnya Adventures. So we can still go 4-3. Um, yeah, I'm planning on playing Rakdos after this. I don't think I can keep this hand. I think that's just too expensive. <clears throat> too many expensive cards. All right, so Once Upon a Time can help fix our mana. Get us a white source. Um, 
Taco Hero. Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. I don't know. Why didn't the notification pop up? I'm going to put back Venerated Luxit on here. It's either, it's either Luxodon or Guide Mother. Yeah, actually, I'll just get rid of the Guide Mother. If because you know, without a Luxodon with like a slower hand here, I don't know how much impact it'll have. I want to see what I draw this next turn. So I have more information with this. And I am planning on... I'm planning on using Giant Killer. Go against this Gruel deck. Just I bow to no one. <clears throat> I hope they do not have a questing beast right here, though. Yay. Well, that's just... That's just game. At least they didn't... They did not uh, go full control fast enough, so at least we got to block. But, yeah, they could have giant killer before blockers. Yep, Giant Killer can take down a Shifting Ceratops. Yep, that certainly hurts. Now they get to draw an extra card also. If I play Venerated Luxodon, I'm dead to basically everything in their deck. So that's not a great spot to be. Because if they just play like any haste creature, I die. And that's so their deck is filled with haste creatures.
Down, down, down. Yeah, I made the play that put us in a better position if they didn't have a haste creature like that. But. I probably should have just mulled the five. Probably should have just mulled the five. That six card hand was not good. And just. It was just way too slow. It just didn't do very much. <clears throat> and them them not having... I don't know. I guess I, I could have just played out like my 1-2 my earlier. So I never got any like good value with the Giant Killer. Never got to kill anything. That was just rough. Our deck shines against a Golos and fires. We only played against Golos one time, but it felt really rough. Because how they just had tons of sweepers. I guess we played against kind of a unique version of Golos, though, that had Clarion. So they had, you know, Clarion time wipe. And also, I didn't keep up my unbreakable formation when I should have. All right, what are we going to get? Tristani is not a very good draw here with, like, the two lands. That was a pretty poor draw. No, no Lucky Clover with this deck. This isn't... Um... Like, we don't do too much of, like, that adventure stuff. I don't know if this is like okay, so this is Field of the Dead. Let's say like Simic Flash doesn't usually have Guild Gate, but it could be like a budget mana base. But all right, so it's just Field of the Dead. All right, try to get a bunch of power in the air. That's my goal here, and you know they make zombies. All right, Krasis is gone. Attack for eight. So this looks like, like is this just like Sultai field? You know, like the Yurok, that kind of stuff. It's a nice draw. Just get an extra land out here. Um, does castle castle takes two white to activate? Uh, I'll still grab forest. Like grabbing forest means you know it's better for questing beast. Grabbing the plains means that it's better for the castle.
Okay. <clears throat> so still finish up with a 3-4. It's kind of a tricky deck to play. Um, I didn't I didn't do my best. But it was okay. It was okay. Um, I mean, I, I certainly liked the Conclave Tribunals. Those were good. Didn't feel like we really had, like, enough creatures for Venerate Luxodon. So it kind of felt like that. Tristani is a little slow. Um... Fairy Godmother being a flying creature was pretty nice. Um, but there we go. I was I honestly expected a lot from Giant Killer. I was pretty disappointed with the card. Uh, this card, I mean, I, I guess I, I mean I could have played slower in like some of my games, and you know, <clears throat> get better use of like the gift of the fey part and you know actually have the usher to safety to try to save stuff um so I definitely could have played slower the shepherd of the flock was you know fairly mediocre it's just a you know with it being like the two mana creature there i don't know so our, our deck was pretty good but sweepers were really rough um you know, if we don't have unbreakable formation, you know, because we're just playing creatures, so sweepers were pretty rough there. <clears throat> so you just play two once upon a time and no Amaris to fit more one drops. So you have... I don't know if I ever really played the Flaxen Intruder, um, but yeah, I could see that, wanting more one drops there to go with Venerade, Luxodon, especially best of one. That could be the way to go. You know, like no Tristani, uh, lower it down there. But all right, so that's Selesnia Adventures. So, all right, so if you're watching the video later on YouTube, please hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. I'd appreciate that. And also leave comments. Let me know what you think of the deck. And, you know, if you play Selesnia Adventures yourself, what, is your, what does your list look like? Uh, especially if you play it best of one, how's yours different from this uh, and everything like that? Um, Anything that I'm missing that you're having success with there, leave a comment. All right, but that's it here for Selesny Adventures. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.